During the development of 12C, we didn't want to compromise. We wanted a car that could be fearsome on a racetrack, which is what people expect from a McLaren sports car. But at the same time, we wanted it to be supple. We wanted it to be a great driver's car on the road. So it really is a Jekyll and Hyde. It's, it's an AND car. It is a comfortable car every day and is great on the track. It's quick, it looks quick, but the GT is really its evil twin. McLaren's not only one of the most impressive engineering companies of the world, but also, you know, they're, they're one of the top Formula One teams. And we've, we've had the privilege of working with the Formula One guys, both on simulation, engineering guys, CFD designers, and some of the test drivers. From an engineering perspective, the car's unbelievable. I think it's a great looking car, and I think it'll uh, turn a few heads. It's perhaps surprising to a lot of people that the GT3 version of the car has less power than the road car. This is because of the phenomenal pace of our road car, the fantastic aerodynamic development job people have done on the GT3, and our need to balance its performance with other GT cars. 12C was designed as a road car, but it was designed with real racing DNA. That made it an ideal base to go racing. GT car has that touch more aggression. It looks beautiful, it looks great in McLaren orange, and I'm sure it's going to be a fantastic picture on any GT racing calendar in the future years. We believe that we've developed a great GT car. What's important to us though is that the customer experience is better than any GT customer has experienced before. So we're determined that the cost of ownership, the quality of service that customers have will be unlike anyone has seen in this class of racing before. McLaren's about winning. So clearly when we go into any new category of motorsport, we want to win. Frankly, the potential of this car is huge. Mm -hmm.